it. Today we'll have a look at a pen that was uh, sent over by Goldspot. And this pen is a Faber-Castell pen. And this is the Ambition Op Art Aqua. And I have definitely had a lot of review requests for the uh, Ambition model. So I'm, I'm glad I, I have this opportunity here. Now, interesting box. Uh, it pulls the little sleeves and then there's actually a, a, a harder cardboard box inside that, that sleeve. It says Fava Castell and in there we have this pen. Now you'll, you'll see why it's called Aqua. Um, I think it's an interesting model. Uh, I'll cover the parts of the pen and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. Now, the pen itself, fairly simple model. Uh, you have a finial there that's just a bit of reflection, uh, and then we have the clip. The clip is spring-loaded, that's always nice, makes it uh, usable and very uh, easy to put the, the pen in your, your uh, shirt pocket, for example. On the cap is also the logo, Fava Castell, uh, with the little uh, knight on the horse, uh, which I've always enjoyed. It says Fava Castell since 1761. Now, of course, very interesting in this pen, and hence the name Op Art, following the uh, movement in art, uh, is this pen barrel, which I think is a very interesting texture. It's both interesting texture as to the tactile sensation it gives, but also visually it's 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 really quite appealing, not just the color but the texture. And then you have this little end cap. The pen, uh, the, the cap just pops off, uh, you have this little section and then you have the nib and this nib we have seen before in the uh, Emotion and the uh, Basic for example by the same brand. This is the medium nib again has a very crisp knight on there I really like the design and of course the feed nothing fancy just a plastic feed. The section unscrews to reveal a cartridge uh, that's just a cartridge right there just standard international short cartridge and I think you can just put a secondary cartridge right there so that you have a spare in case you run out of ink. Okay, uh, the pen itself fairly easy to hold although we'll come back to that in a second. You can see this is a very short metal section and uh, this pen is really designed to be posted which it does securely and then to hold the barrel uh, which you, you see in other pens too like the uh, Italics Churchman's Prescriptor for example. What do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? Well, I definitely like the looks. It's a very slim pen. Uh, it's not extremely long, but it's it's not that short. Uh, it, it has a very nice texture and color, and the nib definitely writes well. I don't find it as smooth as the broad nibs I have used in this um, in this brand, uh, on the Emotion, for example, and on the Basic, but it's definitely still a very smooth writer. So I like those things. I also like the idea of having a pen that you hold up a bit more highly, because I typically hold my pens fairly highly and not really close to the nib, as some people do. However, with this pen, I think Faber Castell made a slightly odd choice, and the choice was to make a very, very small section, which you really cannot hold very comfortably. It's it's really small. You can hold the barrel, but the problem is because this is a uh, some type of, of uh, I don't know uh, plastic uh, body um, and a metal cap. Once you post it, it becomes quite top heavy. And that's a bit of an issue for longer writing sessions, especially because you cannot really hold the section, uh, so you have to hold the barrel, but if you do not post the pen as you do that, for me it's stretching it as to a pen that I can comfortably hold, so it's a bit too short for that. Now, the problem is, even if you would want to hold that section, you can't really, not just because it's very short, but also because of this giant step down, on the barrel right there and this is actually really sharp so you, you really are stuck holding the barrel and I think that's a bit of an issue and um, having said that again very smooth nib very pleasant to use uh, you can probably fit in a converter of some type but it would probably have to be Faber Castell they're a little bit picky as to their uh, converters these pens I found uh, but that that is probably possible lengthwise that should definitely fit so there you have it, an interesting pen, nice finish, good nib, 
but the model I'm not too sure about. Maybe if you have smaller hands that, that is more convenient to use, uh, but for me that definitely gave me some issues. Okay, I thank Goldspot again for sending me this pen. Thanks a lot. Uh, I appreciate it. I, uh, guys, I hope this was useful so far. Let's look at how the pen writes. And uh, that's all there is to it. I'd like to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Faber Castell Ambition Op Art Aqua. The nib is medium. Oh, you can't even see what I'm writing. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, and the ink is uh, hazelnut. By Graf von Faber Castell. Graf von Faber Castell. All right. Uh, let's do some writing. The nib, nice and smooth. As we have come to expect from Faber Castell, I find this not as distressingly smooth as the broad nibs in this series, but it definitely is a nice smooth nib. Now, I'll do some fast writing. Not striving for legibility, just being fast. You see that it really is a nice, good, well flowing nib. A little bit of a skip there, but apart from that, it really keeps up pretty well. Wetness, again, a hard start there, but once it goes, it's going pretty well. Nice wet line. And some line variation, although this is a pretty stiff nib. All right, you can do reverse writing, turning the medium into a fine, definitely scratchier, definitely drier, but that is a possibility if you really want to. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, I thank Goldspot for sending over this pen to review. Guys, I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later.